free spell. I was challenged by a mere mortal to make a game of epic proportions using nothing but computer-generated artwork. It might seem quite impossible, but I have done it. Using stable diffusion, I have created the world's greatest game. Concept. Dot, dot, dot. Anyways, I'll let this nerd explain to you what stable diffusion is, and then we will see my conquest. Hey, all you nerds out there. Today we're going to be talking about stable diffusion. If you haven't heard about this, you have been living under a rock. And for good measure, I'm going to throw this in here. And the first thing this is going to show is how graphically intensive this is. It takes a bunch of RAM and it needs to be in your graphics card. Um, there's different ways to install and run and also different programs that require less. But the best one I have found so far is this one, which I will throw a link to in the description below if you want to play around with it. Uh, but this computer that I am on currently cannot really handle it. Uh, I'm going to drop the size down. This allows me to actually finish getting images. And we'll start that and we can see a little bar going across here. We'll walk through all the different parameters while this loads up. Uh, so of course this prompt here, uh, we can just type in what we want to see. On image to image we can add a prompt and or an image here and it'll work off that. Hey look, a rock. This is what you're living under. And one of the greatest things about this tool is I can now take this image and send it to image to image and I can re AIFI, which is a trademark word, so don't don't use it. It's mine. And I can add extra stuff. Um, smiley face. And I'm going to have to drop these again because I just can't handle it. And we'll start generating and we'll see what that does. So on these, we have our prompt, our actual image, and this is what we want to do with our image. And I'm going to redraw it and resize it. Um, and then this is how many times it's going to sample through and 20 is quite low and that's just going to speed up the whole process for me and As you can see here, they kind of resemble you get the circle idea and you get the smiley face I asked for and we can change how crazy this looks based on what we put in down here so our CFG this is going to be how strongly it conforms to our prompt and we said smiley face and then we said seven and that's out of what 20 30 so seven out of 30 just like 20 something percent and the other one is going to be on your picture base and the lower it is the less it changes so i want this to stay more rock like so i'm going to ignore this new one i made i'm just going to regenerate it with these new uh, parameters installed here and then batch count and batch size is just how many are going to come out in a batch and then how many batches i want and then the seed, we want to be negative one, so it's random, and that'll make sure it's different each time. So as you can see, when we change these, it stayed a lot closer to our original picture, uh, but we still get that smiley face, and we can send that in and do it again. And you can do this over and over again. And as a game designer, I thought this would be a great way to make some assets, because um, as you can see, I took that crappy little rock, and it is starting to look very realistic here, and we also added in whatever it is we wanted, in this case a smiley face. Um, obviously that wouldn't be helpful in a video game, but I was able to take a terrible drawing, this right here, and tell it to make different staffs, and I end up with this and these, and that which I'm not too proud of, and these, and... Fireball! Silence you worm! The peasants are here to see the video game that I have created for them out of still frame images drawn by a computer. That's right, everything you see here is simply an image that a computer dreamed up for us, and we have reworked it into what looks like images running or dancing in the background. The greatest piece of work here is the background, which I have to give a special thanks to Reaching Nexus, for he has put a lot of work into this project, and will be releasing an evolving background music video soon. When he finally does, a comment will be pinned with a link to his video. Check it out. Congratulations, Reaching Nexus. For you shall be spared when I take over the universe. If you would like to see how I was able to make this, let me know in the comments below, for those suggestions drive my future content. Additionally, if you would like to play with the code, it will be posted on my itch.io, which you can find in my description. Please enjoy.